Hello, my name is Daryl, and I play with trains. This is going to be an update to the last video that I posted on the corn uh, corn processing uh, facility, which we're looking at in front of us. And I really shouldn't have posted that one up because it really wasn't done, And but that's okay. So that's why there's an update to it, because there's a huge difference between the before and after till this update. And I don't know if you remember saying I wanted to add corn syrup. So I don't have any corn syrup cars, but anyways, these are 20,000 gallon uh, general service tanks. So they'll do for right now. So I can get three in there and there was just perfect room for me to get another line. So obviously I had to change out the tracks. And, uh, and of course, I super glue my switches in, so because I, I don't use any, I don't use white glue. It's just, it's just messy. But anyways, that I just super glue my stuff in, and then for sure it ain't going nowhere. And um, so whenever I have to take a switch out, it's history. So, and that's okay, because when I usually place them, they're not coming out unless I'm taking the layout down. Because very rarely I'm going to change it. So, but anyways, enough of that. Um, so anyways, I was able to sneak another track in there. I did say I was going to continue this facility down the long line, but it was just going to take up too much room to switch out, what, three cars? So um, I can do it all in this one facility. So um, it worked out very, very well. And like I said, there's a huge difference between this update and the before and after. Now... What's interesting is is my grain facility. I don't know if you you can go back and look. Um, I had a tractor and trailer, and there this lied this station to take in um, grain from farmers. Okay, right along with the loading facility that I had. So actually, what you're looking at is, well, I took that truck off and I added this truck. It's kind of cool. I cut that trailer in half. So the original color of that trailer, top of it, it's white. This one over here, I just painted black. So I used the other half as an end result, looking like a truck and trailers leaving the property. So that worked out pretty well. So like I said, this is 90% done. The only thing that I got to find is um, ways from the building to um, uh, load the container cars. There's not enough room for the conventional way, so I got to come up with a way. And it, 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 it's, it'll be fine. But uh, for right now, I'm done with this area. I mean, from the corner of where I'm standing to to that corner is like 36 inches straight across and it's just it's held working in this area and i always try to work the areas first in the corners or the most difficult areas first now there's another interesting part to this that i did this track right here is just serving as a um uh, a staging track for the facility, the corn facility, but I actually added like 10 more feet to it off the layout. And um, I might do another video on that. And it's also removable. So it's just, you know, just brainstorming. How can I get more room? How can I, you know, we, we all do it. We're all looking for more room. So, and since really I, I do have a yard, but I don't. And I'm thinking that's what the center table is going to be used for. So, but anyways, enough of that. Okay, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And um, it's just a huge difference between the first video and this updated one. So, I'm kind of ecstatic about this because it came out pretty cool. And plus, I have a few... Um, switching opportunities in this area and um i've already done it and uh it takes quite a while but it's a lot of fun 
Okay, well, now that that's all said and that's all done, I hope you all enjoyed the update. And uh, hey, I'll see you uh, guys all soon. Thank you for watching. You all stay safe.